discuss online today is how the web is coping with the recession. The UK's 100 most popular online retailers have been named today and amongst the familiar names is evidence of a slowdown. The number of people visiting these sites has dropped across the board with online travel companies hardest hit. Companies are also having to resort to sales and giveaways to attract shoppers to their sites. Well, joining us now from central London is Robin Goad from Hitwise who compiled this report. Good evening to you. Tell us the uh, snapshot of this then. What, what's happening? Is the traffic just, just falling you know, below expectations then? Uh, not quite. I mean, what's happening is we're definitely seeing a decline in traffic to online transactional sites. Um, so particularly when we looked at over the last sort of two or three months, uh, January and February are always a quiet time uh, and we normally expect to see an uptick in March. Uh, that didn't happen this year, uh, whereas that's normally happened, um, and that's definitely had an impact across the board. And like you said, within our list of the top 100 retailers, I'm um, looking at the top 50, 10 of those were travel sites and, and all of those, with, the, with a couple of exceptions, have seen uh, quite significant drops down the rankings. So online travel's not doing quite so well. Who is doing well then? Uh, there's a number of areas doing well online still, so uh, the, probably the biggest growing area is online fashion, um, so a number of stores, um, people, web only players like ASOS, also sort of familiar high street names like Next and Topshop are doing well. Um, another area that's doing quite well is DIY shops, um, so particularly B&Q, Screwfix, those kind of shops. So people seem to be looking to do up their houses, um, bearing in mind they perhaps can't sell them in the current environment. Now you're interested in the traffic rather than what people are buying. What, what encourages people into these sites at the moment? Is it the deals, is it the 10% off, or is it the banner ads, or what is it? Yeah, so it's, it's definitely, uh, and online sales are very good. So last week, for example, following M&S's uh, Penny Bazaar sale, they all saw an almost doubling in traffic to their site on the first day. So that's really good. And um, the other thing that's very significant is um, vouchers and online discount vouchers. We've seen a, a massive surge in, in searches for those over the last probably 18 months. Um, and now pretty much all online retailers actually receive a pretty significant portion of their traffic from specialist online voucher sites. OK, you were mentioning the travel sites. I just uh, found this blog, actually. Let's uh, punch this up on the screen and see if we can have a look at this one. This uh, is talking about the traffic to travel sites struggling at the moment. Just to explain to us briefly uh, why it is, is that because it's just too expensive? Yeah, I think it's partly people's budgets, so that they're not necessarily looking um, to, to travel abroad, um, particularly, you know, the, the strong euro and strong dollar are not helping that as well. Um, interestingly, we did some research recently where we looked at the travel sites that were doing well, uh, and aside from the budget sites, so Travel Lodge was one of the, the, the ten that actually didn't decline over the last year or so within our list. And the other area that seems to be doing quite well is anything really focusing on domestic travel, so train companies, coach companies, um, even campsite companies have been doing very well online over the last year or so. OK, Robin, you've got your uh, website up there, hitwise.com. We'll try and get some traffic to your site. Thanks very much.